Hey, it's Ethan here at eTrailer. Today we're going to be taking a look at and showing you how to install these Glacier Cable tire chains on our 2023 Yukon XL. This is tire size 275 60 20, so that's how it's going to fit in our case. These are going to be sort of a, an emergency case only type of chains. They're going to be good for maybe light snow. They are a cable style chain, which means that they roll across the tire. So they are ladder pattern as well. They're going to help with starting and stopping, but they're going to have a smoother ride than say a square link chain would have. The links themselves are made of a low carbon steel, so they're not the most durable thing in the world. Now the reason why I put these in the emergency case only situation. These chains do meet class S compatibility standards, which basically means they're going to keep a nice low profile on your tire. They're not going to stick out too far or have any sort of obstruction with your suspension or anything in your wheel well. The chains do come two in a set in this light nylon cylindrical bag. Uh, it's definitely not my favorite. It's not the worst thing in the world, but roller style chains are notoriously difficult to get back in there. So we recommend if you get these chains, just pick up something else like maybe a plastic tote to keep them in, to keep the chains secure and to keep the weather out. As far as the installation of these chains go, it's not too, de too terribly difficult, but you do have to get underneath your car to get them on. So we recommend at least testing these in your garage before you find yourself on the side of the road needing to figure out how to do them. As again, you will have to get down and get them on, but you can check out how we did it now. For the install, the first thing we need to do is lay our chains out flat. Make sure that nothing is caught or tangled up. Also, we want to make sure that this lever here is on the side facing us. And we want to make sure that these hoops are facing the right way. As you can see here, you have the folded edge on this side. You don't want that making contact with your tire. We'd rather have the flat side on the tread. Do your best to center the chains up as well as you can around the tire. Just going to make it easier. Once we're ready, we grab these two links in the back and we can drape the chains over our tire. Again, doing the best we can to make sure everything is centered because that's just going to help us when we need to make our first connection on the back side. To make our connection on the back, all we need to do is fit these metal studs through this catch plate on the other side. We'll go for two in our case. It seems like a, a good fit and catch it on the end, making sure that this hook is facing away from your tire and we'll go to the front now. In a similar way, feeding these metal studs in to the catch plate. In our case, we'll go for about four, but you can always adjust the front and the back as you need to, to get your desired tension. Then we'll lever this arm backwards and attach it to the side. With chains like these, they don't have any sort of self-tensioning, so as you drive, things tend to shift around, we recommend picking up one of these rubber tensioners here at eTrailer and you'll install it similar to how you would put the tire on or take it off just in a star shaped pattern trying to keep it as equal as possible throughout making sure that the hooks are facing away from the tire similar to how we've put on the hooks on the front and the back connections this will just help keep things in place while you're moving. Once you have the tensioner on that's pretty much it for the install. Just make sure you roll forward or backwards a few times to make sure everything is secure where you want it. Install the chains on your passenger side tire as well and you're ready to hit the road. They're not the most aggressive chains in the world. Probably only going to be used for light snow. And because of that low carbon steel construction, they're not going to have as much longevity as a tire chain with a manganese nickel alloy construction might. So if you're interested in something like that, Koenig has a bunch of diamond pattern style chains which get you more coverage and a lot of times assisted or self-tensioning. But this was a look at the Glacier cable tire chains and how they fit on a 2023 Yukon XL.